Hi, thank you for clicking on the video. If you want to reinstall your operating system or you're a Windows user and decided to give Linux a try, the first thing you need to do after preparing the installation media is to boot up your computer from that media. It can be a USB flash drive or a DVD disk. Your computer normally boots from the hard drive with the installed operating system. If you want to boot from another source, you need to let your computer know it by modifying settings of BIOS, which stands for a basic input-output system. BIOS is a small program that starts your computer after you hit power button even before an operating system takes control. Because BIOS tweaking tools usually do not have mouse support and because you need to be really careful modifying its settings, it can be challenging for beginners. But the good news, it's really not difficult to learn basic BIOS tweaks. So let's get started. First, you need to get into the BIOS tweaking interface. It can be tricky because different computer manufacturers assign different keys for that. Most manufacturers go with F2 key, but sometimes it can be delete button or any other key. In order for that magic button to work, you need to press it right after the computer starts. Some manufacturers use a one second window for the operation of the specified key to work. So in order to not miss the window, it's a good idea to just hold the key when you reboot your computer or before you press the power button. After you see the BIOS menu, you can release the button. If the F2 key didn't work, you can find out the magic key from your computer or motherboard manual. Because the BIOS tweaking interface can differ a bit from computer to computer, I will show you three different interfaces on three different computers so that we can sum up the ideas behind the interface. After watching this video, I'm sure that you'll be able to tweak BIOS on any computer. So let's get started. I already connected a USB flash drive with a Debian installation image. This is a typical BIOS screen with different settings. On the right bottom corner, you can see the quick help info about how to navigate through the menus and items. Right now, we're in the main tab. We need to go to the boot tab. So press right arrow button on your keyboard twice. Okay, now we're in the boot tab. First, we need to disable fast boot. You can see the system automatically selected the first item, which is what we need, fast boot. In order to change the settings to disabled, we have to press enter on the keyboard and select the desired item from the pop-up menu with up arrow key, then press enter to confirm. Let's move ahead. The next item that we need is the first boot option. Press down arrow button twice to select it. You can see that the system already found our USB flash drive and put it as the second boot device. What we need is to make it the first. So press enter and select UEFI generic USB flash disk by pressing down arrow key. So now our system can boot from the flash drive. But if you have a relatively new computer, there is one more thing to do. That thing is to disable the secure boot. Let's go to the security tab by pressing right arrow key and navigate to the secure boot menu with your down arrow button. Once selected, press enter. The item that we need, secure boot control, is already selected, so just press enter and change it to disabled with up arrow key. Press enter to confirm. Press escape key on your keyboard to navigate to the previous menu. To move to the last tab, press right arrow key. We're about to finish our task. All we need to do is to press enter to activate the already selected item, save changes and exit. If you are not sure if you did everything correctly, you can always select discard changes and exit. In case you have to boot from a DVD disk instead of a flash drive on this computer, you don't need to worry about the boot order. Usually if the DVD is bootable, it will automatically boot when you restart the computer. But you still have to disable the fast boot and secure boot settings if you want to install a Linux system. So that was the first computer. 
Let's go to the second one, which is older and has an earlier version of BIOS. I connected a USB flash drive with a Linux Mint installation image. You can see that the window looks very similar. The tricky part is that the items are a bit different. Let's navigate to the security tab. Surprise! It doesn't have secure boot feature. So nothing to do here, let's move to the boot tab. This menu also looks different. Make sure that the boot booster option is disabled. Let's select and enter to the hard disk drives menu. One more surprise, our laptop decided that the inserted USB flash drive is a hard drive. It's ok, it doesn't really matter to the boot process. Let's select and press enter on the second drive, which is our flash drive. I'm going to select the real Hitachi hard drive and press enter to make it the second device instead of the flash drive. As soon as I did that, the USB drive automatically became the first device. Great, that's exactly what we needed. You can now press escape key on your keyboard to exit to the previous menu and go to the boot device priority menu to make sure that our flash drive is still the first device to boot from. Press escape and right arrow button to go to the exit menu. After we press enter, the system asks us to confirm that we want to save our changes. The system will reboot right after you press enter. Ok, that was our second computer. Let's go to the last one. It is the oldest out of the three I have covered in this video. You can see that the BIOS is very different from the previous ones. On the bottom of the screen you can see the quick helping info about how to navigate through the menus and items. It's basically the same as the previous ones. In this type of interface we need to go to the advanced BIOS features menu. You can see that the first boot device is already set to the CD-ROM drive. If there is no bootable CD or DVD, it will just be skipped. If you want to change that, select the item and press enter. Ok, we don't see our connected flash drive in the list. I'm sure now you know why. It was detected as a hard drive. So let's set a hard drive as the first boot option. So far looks like quick boot is disabled so we don't have to change that option. Let's go to the hard disk boot priority menu. There it is. Our USB flash drive is the fourth in the list. We need to make it first. Select it, hold shift and press plus button on your keyboard three times. Now we can exit that menu with escape key. Looks like we're done. Press escape one more time and choose save and exit setup. Confirm with enter and the computer will reboot. Summing up all three computers, let's figure out the crucial tasks to do in BIOS. First, you can navigate through the BIOS settings and menus using arrows keys, escape and enter buttons on your keyboard. Second, if present, disable secure boot. Third, if present, disable fast boot. Fourth, choose inserted USB flash drive as the first device to boot from or a DVD ROM in case you want to boot from a DVD. If the flash drive is detected as a hard drive, change its boot priority to the top number one in the hard drive's boot order. Fifth, don't forget to change boot priority back to hard drive right after the Linux installation is complete so you can boot into a freshly installed system instead of the installation media. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.